Hello everyone, welcome back to BPO interview tutorials and uh, today we came up with uh, one important topic and I got multiple messages also regarding to this that most of the time while working on reports and dashboards we used to get an issue that uh, pivot table is overlapped not able to refresh the pivot table not able to uh, get the exact image slicers uh, while using the rip, uh, pivot table and all so I got this particular concern I thought that uh, I'll give the answer on it and uh, I will prepare a short video on this particular concern so welcome back guys welcome to BPO interview tutorials and I hope you guys are doing really well don't miss to share and subscribe our channel and click on bell icon guys uh, so please please help me with more viewers and subscribers so let's start the today's topic and I would also like to inform you that please check out our playlist you will get our videos related to Six Sigma certification then uh, Excel tricks quality analyst uh, KPA for team leads operation team lead uh, tutorials so multiple videos are there regarding uh, to the BPO jobs so let's start with the today's concept and that is what to do when we get an issue of overlap uh, while using the pivot table so let concentrate on the screen and let's start the video today so first of all I will select the entire video entire table I'll go to pivot table and I'll do select yes so first I'm just creating uh, just a basic data here like I have a team lead name and account of team lead I have this particular pivot table and I do have one more pivot table below to that maybe a date wise course and below we have a, a weekly course we do have a multiple pivot table down to down right we used to create and we will connect them with the help of slicers so if you are still confused that what is this slicers and all you guys can check out my a playlist you will get videos related to escalation dashboard and uh, various excel tricks on image slicers and everything so what I'll do I'll just remove the TL name here and I'll keep the associate name here see guys you will get this error a pivot table report cannot overlap to the another pivot table report so this issues mainly occurs when if you have multiple pivot tables in the same sheet and the content of data is large at the time uh, it will not allow you to go further and it will throw out you the error that it cannot overlap here so I'll tell you the reason see how many associates are there there are 14 associates so I would require at least 14 row here so I can see here I do only have uh, just I can say 1 2 3 4 5 6 almost like 10 so still I required 4 more so that my data can be visible correctly and if I select the name here it will give me an answer that we cannot overlap here so the solution for this is simply go to the blank cell click on the 12 or whatever cell it is you just click here and do right click and do insert in this way how many uh, columns or rows you want you can insert it here I can use shortcut also that is control plus you can use control shift plus also so some keyboards will support control plus uh, CT Avril CTRL plus CTRL plus and few keyboards will support CTRL plus CTRL plus shift plus plus shift then plus you need to use plus okay so CTRL shift and plus you need to use now see I will select the associate name here and let me check I'm getting my information here or no it's not yet getting because uh, it still required few more rows to be so I'm just increasing the space here so that this particular pivot table will get a required space uh, to get all the information here see guys now you can see uh, all this uh, all the associate name and account is available this is just an example guys uh, you may have a bulk bulk of data wherein you guys uh, see that yes my data is not getting captured and due to that I'm unable to refresh the pivot table I'm getting this particular error that you cannot overlap it so this is only the reason simply you guys can do 
the next pivot table give you space here by selecting this particular 20 this is a certain cell or row column whatever you want to select select and uh, increase the uh, size of it so that or else increase the columns here definitely you will get the space and you will be able to paste the data I guess this is very much easy to uh, reduce this particular error or remove completely from the uh, sheet so so for an example I pasted this data here and I have few more data here example I have one more pivot table here which actually takes employee ID now I'll, I'll go with the second one so here team lead I have I'll take with the employee ID again I'll get the same error I need to get few more uh, I'm just doing control shift plus so that I can get a space see now this is visible in this way you can reduce this overlapping issues in the pivot table now you can refresh your pivot table no issues will get occurred here you can also use image slicers and everything so that's it from this particular video guys i hope you guys got the clear understanding on the uh, overlap issue don't get panic this is very simple you can easily eliminate it from your reports and dashboards that's all guys from my side hope you have liked this video if you still require any help any support please uh, share me your feedback uh, in the comment section and also you guys can uh, get in touch with me in uh, our Facebook page, Instagram page, also in our LinkedIn page. Thanks a lot guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.